Hey guys, Ben here with Fly Plugins, and today I want to walk you through uh, our latest feature with S3 Media Maestro 4.0, which is the CloudFront, uh, fully integrated CloudFront feature. So let's dive right in. Okay, so what I wanna do uh, with, with this particular video tutorial, because this is such a major upgrade, uh, I want to take some time and, and just quickly or briefly uh, go over what it looked like in uh, S3 Media Maestro 3.2.4, which is uh, the, just the previous version. Um, okay, so, so not much actually changes right here on the S3 settings page. Uh, what I kind of want to focus on is the CloudFront. This video tutorial is primarily focusing on CloudFront. Um, so what I want to just take note of here is we've, we've got quite a few uh, uh, places for input here. On the CloudFront side, we have a place for the distribution URL the CloudFront key pair ID, private key, and expiry time. So uh, with that said, I also want to point out that we had manually created uh, this particular distribution. So here's the URL, and here's where I uh, input the URL. Okay, so, so this is the old configuration, and um, also what I'd like to just briefly uh, point out is that we have... Um, what the old method of posting a video with CloudFront look like, um, just so that's kind of fresh in your mind. Um, so with the old version, you had to select CloudFront video here at the top. And unfortunately, uh, this is the part where we just had no integration. And so if you didn't know what this video file was or the, or the, the file name, what you had to do is you actually had to go to the S3 bucket uh, and find the file in here. So for example, let's just say I wanted to post this file here, S3 Media Maestro, .mp4. Well, I had to go look that up and now I've got to type it in. So S3 Media Maestro .mp4. Okay. And since we're not making a playlist, I'm not going to add additional videos. Hence, we don't need video titles. So we're going to go ahead and insert that. And there you have it. We have our video here posted. So I'm going to go ahead and just update that. And so, so the old method, this is the old method for, for CloudFront and using uh, the integration that we have built in, which is, uh, I, I would call it maybe a half integration. Okay, so now what we wanna do is the exciting stuff, and that's actually go, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade uh, S3 Media Maestro from 3.2.4 over to 4.0. So here we go, you ready for this? And there you have it, we have S3 Media Maestro 4.0, fresh, hot off the press. So uh, let's go and take a look what's changed. So if we navigate over to our settings, S3 Media Maestro, again, you, you don't see much change here on the S3 uh, side of things. Again, we're not focusing on S3 right now. However, you'll notice we have some uh, changes here on the CloudFront tab. Uh, there's fewer input fields. So you'll notice right off the bat, we don't have the default distribution URL. And you might be thinking, well, why is that? Well, this is the really cool part, okay? So what we've done in S3 Media Maestro 4.0 is we've actually added full integration to CloudFront. We've added some really good automation. So what happens when you upgrade, when you come into your CloudFront settings here, if you click Save Settings, you're gonna notice this little dialog box pops up. It says creating the distributions can take up to 60 minutes uh, before uh, they will be able to distribute media. What that is telling you is that these distributions are actually getting created in the background as we speak. So if I, if I go over to our uh, CloudFront uh, console here, I'm going to go ahead and do a refresh. And you're going to notice I've got CloudFront distributions being created in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh just a couple more times. It, it takes time for these to kind of get going. Um, but you'll notice these are all being created automatically. They're all associating themselves with S3 buckets which is gonna make things very convenient for us. So, okay, so now uh, we've got all of our CloudFront distributions being created in the background. So what I'm gonna do briefly is just pause the video just for a second. I want, I want these to create, again, uh, the message did pop up that this would take up to about 60 minutes. It doesn't typically take 60 minutes. We just wanted to give it enough time. Uh, however, you could, you could go in the background and kind of watch this until they're done, uh, but that's entirely up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right now. Okay, we're back. And so now we've got all of our CloudFront distributions created. You'll notice they're all enabled, all deployed, 
all ready to go. So now we can actually take advantage of this. So uh, we're not done there though, it gets better. So if we go back over to our website, uh, what we're, we're gonna do is go over to our posts. And if we go into the post that we created earlier, um, you'll notice that the CloudFront video still works. So, so this is backwards compatible, which is a great thing. But here's where the real magic happens. Okay, so let's go and let's add a new video. Okay, so if we go and we, we open up our short code builder, you're gonna notice that we don't have CloudFront on the dropdown anymore. So what, what the process will be now is to leave it as S3, because technically these videos are served up from S3. However, if you want to attempt to use a CloudFront distribution, again, if one exists uh, for your bucket, we're gonna, we're gonna check the box, and then we'll come down here. I'm gonna change the bucket. I'm gonna go with, uh, with this bucket, and I'm gonna pick our video here, and I'm gonna go ahead and insert the video. And now we've got our CloudFront video uh, much easier. We didn't have to type anything in. We didn't have to go look it up in the S3 bucket in order to get the actual name to type it in. So uh, this is a really, really cool feature. Now we're fully automated with CloudFront. Uh, this does work with playlists as well. You can generate a playlist. Uh, it also works with audio files. And if you're using just flat files, the, the, the file download option, it works with that as well. So that concludes this video tutorial on the CloudFront integration with S3 Media Maestro 4.0. Thanks for watching.